She is the newest addition to the British monarchy, a beautiful baby girl. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge welcoming their second born today. And celebrations are underway around the world. The London Eye lit up in the colors of the Union Jack, while Tower Bridge in the UK capital turned, yes, pink in honor of the little princess. It may be a few days before we know her name, but for the huge crowds who gather to catch a glimpse, the royal arrival is a momentous occasion. It was early evening London time when the newest member of the royal family made her debut on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital in London. To the sound of cheering crowds, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge proudly presented their healthy eight-pound, three-ounce daughter to the world. She apparently took it all in stride, sleeping in her mother's arms. It's a baby girl. What more can we want? Over eight pounds. George was eight pounds six. Are you happy? Oh, I'm over the moon. I feel like so I've had the baby myself. I feel so elated. <laughs> Earlier on the steps of the hospital's Lindo Wing, a town crier announced the royal arrival. Three cheers for the princess! Hip, hip. Official confirmation came from a notice posted on an easel outside Buckingham Palace. In part, it reads, Her Royal Highness and her child are both doing well. Yeah. On the streets of London, the celebrations are in full swing. Yeah. I'm ever so pleased. I mean, um, Princess Diana will mother always wanted little girls so I think William should put Diane as an in there somewhere to honor his late mother. I'm over the moon for them and I think Prince Charles said he would love a little granddaughter. And tourists outside Buckingham Palace were thrilled with the news. But lovely, lovely news. We did hear and we were very excited. We're from Canada. <laughs> yeah, so all, all the way from Canada. <laughs> Outside the hospital, Prince William told the crowds that he was very happy. He appeared with his son, Prince George, who gave a wave before going inside to meet his baby sister. The Queen, who wore pink today at an official engagement 400 kilometers north of London, is said to be delighted the princess is her fifth great-grandchild. After just over 12 hours at the hospital, it was time for the short trip home to Kensington Palace. The new princess is fourth in line to the throne, behind her brother George, father William, and grandfather Prince Charles. She bumps her Uncle Harry to fifth.